While we all love to draw in 3D, the vast majority of CAD work is done in 2D. Thankfully, not all of your 3D modeling efforts are wasted, as you can easily flatten parts of your model using the drafting palette. In this video, we will go over some of the deeper functions of the drafting palette, including sectional views, fragmented views, and break lines. Let's start with section views. A section view is used to show a hidden area of the object. There are many types of sectional views, but for this example, we will go over a full section and an offset section. Full sections display sectional views that pass through the entire part. Standard full sectional views are available in the drafting palette. To create a sectional view, first select the objects you want to show. Then, in the drafting palette, select the sectional view you would like to display. In this case, a front section will show off the features that need to be displayed. Notice how all the parts that come in contact with the cut plane are shaded with a brush pattern? This is referred to as the section lining or section brush. By default, cast iron is displayed, which is commonly used as a generic brush pattern when material is not specified. Now before I go any further, I will open up the properties of the view style by clicking in the bottom right hand corner of the drafting palette. In the properties dialog, I can change attributes such as scale, color, and pattern. Under format, I will change the scale to 0.5 and check don't show hidden lines. Under pen visible, I will change the color to black. And under section brush, I will select steel as my section lining. Next, with my front section selected, I will hit the plus sign at the top of the drafting palette. This will save my view. Now I can insert this view onto a drawing sheet. First, I will switch into paper space. Then with my view selected, I can click the insert button at the top of the drafting palette. I can then click somewhere on the drawing sheet to place my view. And once the view has been inserted, its features can be labeled. An offset section is used to display features of a part that do not line up. The cut plane in this case does not travel in a straight line and we will need to create a view line to define the cut plane. First, I will create a standard top view of the selected entity. Next, I will insert this view into paper space. Now it's time to draw the view line. When drawing the view line, I want to make sure it passes through the center of the features I want displayed in the sectional view. I then choose Create by View Line near the top of the drafting palette. I then select the previously inserted view as the drafting object. For the view line, I select the polyline, then click to the top of that line to define the side. Notice how my sectional view now appears in the drafting palette? I can now select this view and place it on my drawing sheet. In the case that a view needs to be named, I can add an attribute to the view line by opening up Properties and typing a letter in the Attributes field of General Properties. I can then name the view using the text tool. Fragmented views are used to display details of a larger object. Think of it as a magnify glass. In this example, I will display framing connection of the steel structure. First, I will create my view, in this case a southwest isometric view, then insert it into paper space. Now I will draw a circle around the connection I would like to be displayed. I can then create my fragmented view by clicking Create Fragmented View near the top of the drafting palette, then selecting my drafting object, then the circle. The fragmented view is now displayed in the drawing area, and I can place it on the drawing sheet. After placing the fragmented view, I will want to scale it to make it appear larger on the sheet. The fragmented view is associative to the larger view, so moving the circle around will change what's displayed. Break lines are used to display parts and assemblies that are too long to fit on a sheet. To add a break line, first create a standard view. In this case, I will create an isometric southwest view of a steel support beam, then insert it into paper space. Now I will click Drafting Break near the top of the drafting palette. Next, I will define the top, then bottom distances for the break lines, then I will specify the distance between the two sides. Since the drafting object is off the page, I'll need to select it so I can place it correctly. To be sure I get the entire object, I will make the selection by dragging from right to left. Now that the view has been placed correctly, I can add labels to the different features. As you can see, creating flattened views of 3D objects using the drafting palette is not difficult at all, and it's a huge time saver.